Hey guys, it's Greg with Apple Explained. And in this video, I wanna talk about what's new about Apple's recently introduced iMacs. Now, starting with the design, nothing has changed externally. This is the same design we've seen with the previous generations. And that means this update is not the big refresh that everyone was expecting. We'll likely see a big design change to the iMac with the ARM models to be released next year. But the 21.5 inch iMac and the 27 inch iMac both received some changes. The difference is the 21.5 inch model, not much is new. They didn't change very much, but they did change a lot with the 27 inch iMac. Many things are new with that model. Now, what about the 21.5 inch model? Well, only a couple things changed. First, solid state drives are now standard. Previously, they had fusion drives. Second, they've been upgraded to Intel's eighth generation processor. And we'll get more into that later on. But the star of this video is gonna be the 27 inch iMac. So let's start with what's new about its display. The 27 inch iMac is now equipped with a true tone display standard. You do not have to pay to upgrade to this feature. Now, what is a true tone display? Well, it's technology that adjusts the display's temperature depending on the temperature of your ambient lighting. Now, for example, the iPad has had this technology for quite a few years. And as you can see, the temperature of its display will change slightly depending on if you're in a warm lit environment or a cool lit environment. And all that does is make for a more natural and comfortable reading experience. Next, the IMAX display will have a nano texture glass option. It is an optional upgrade. And this is technology we saw first with the Pro Display XDR. As you can see, the iMac model on the left has no reflection in its glass. That's because it has the nano texture technology. The model on the right does not have that feature and you can see the clear reflection. Now that nano texture glass is better than the traditional matte coating since the matte coating can affect the screen brightness and color accuracy. Now, I did say this is an optional upgrade. So how much is it gonna cost to get this technology? Well, for the Pro Display XDR, it was $1,000. Luckily, Apple made it a little cheaper at $500 for the 27 inch iMac. Now let's talk about the performance of this model. But first I wanna talk about the benefits of using Squarespace to build your next website since they are the sponsor of this video. I actually started using Squarespace years ago to create my website, appleexplain.com, and I chose their platform since it had a really easy to use drag and drop interface. And they had the most website templates to choose from but what I thought was really cool is that I could add an e-commerce store to my site when I was selling merch a couple years ago, and I didn't have to start over from scratch. Plus the payment processor was built into Squarespace and I could print shipping labels straight from Squarespace as well. But you can sell more than just physical items. It's also possible to sell digital items like eBooks and music or services if you're a consultant or a fitness coach. I mean, it really is an all-in-one platform designed to do almost anything you can imagine. And you can get this for cheaper than you might think, especially if you use this link, squarespace.com slash Apple Explained. That'll get you 10% off your first purchase. And you can find that link in the description. All right, now let's talk about the IMAX performance when it comes to the processor. Apple has upgraded the 27 inch iMac to Intel's 10th generation processors. That means this model is expandable to up to 10 cores of processing power. And that means up to 65% faster performance, a big, big improvement over the previous generation. But that's for the 27 inch model. What about the 21.5 inch model? Well, that has the eighth generation Intel processor, and that gives this machine up to six processing cores and up to 60% faster performance. So that's the processor. What about the graphics? Let's talk about the graphics on the 27 inch model. That's been upgraded to a Radeon Pro 5000 series graphics card and that'll give you up to two times the video RAM as before, 16 gigabytes rather than eight gigabytes in the previous generation. And what that means is 55% faster performance, really good spec bumps. But what about the 21.5 inch model? Well, that was upgraded to the Radeon Pro Vega graphics card, but it is an optional upgrade. This is not standard. Next, let's talk about storage because a lot has changed with the iMac when it comes to how much storage you can equip. The 21.5 inch model has up to a terabyte of solid state storage, which it's not bad, and these are at standard speeds. 
but the 27 inch iMac can be equipped with up to eight terabytes of solid state storage. That is really incredible. We already saw this achieved with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which was recently released. But this SSD also has high speeds at 3.4 gigabytes a second. That is really a huge benefit of this technology on the 27 inch iMac. Let's talk about RAM. The 21.5 inch model can be equipped with up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, but the higher end 27 inch model can be equipped with up to 128 gigabytes of RAM. That is incredible. It's a huge amount to put in a machine that is as thin as these iMacs. All right, lastly, let's talk about just the miscellaneous new features, and these are only available on the 27 inch model. Let's start with Apple's T2 chip. We saw this already uh, included on MacBooks, but it's finally coming to the iMac. And what the T2 chip is, is a separate processor with many different functions, but its focus is on hardware security. It ensures things like a secure reboot. It allows for secure storage encryption, and it keeps your Touch ID data safe in its secure enclave. Plus, it even does things like disabling the microphone when your computer is asleep to prevent malicious software from listening in. And again, this is disabling the microphone on the hardware level, not software, so you know for sure nothing can penetrate that security. Next, we have an upgraded FaceTime camera, which is a huge, huge benefit. Finally, Apple has included a 1080p FaceTime camera in the iMac. And hopefully this is a sign of things to come with the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air, since we still have 720p quality cameras on those machines. But also this 27 inch iMac has received the 16 inch MacBook Pro's studio quality three mic setup. This is actually the microphone I'm recording on right now. It's extremely high quality. I really enjoy it but they didn't stop there. They also included a new high fidelity sound capability in the speakers, thanks to the T2 chips variable EQ technology, which includes an enhanced bass response. So these speakers sound even better than before. So those are the major changes to both the 21.5 inch and 27 inch iMac models. I hope this helps you decide whether or not you wanna to upgrade to this model or you wanna wait for the ARM transition where we're expected to have a completely radical new iMac design. But either way, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.